Hello. So we are back Tuesday. Very hot outside, like 27 degrees. And this is a very important video. Okay? If you thought I'm a dodgy person, you see nothing. Yeah, this is like way over the top. Okay? So let's learn a few things about the power supplies. The switching ones. <coughs> First, let's start telling you I've been scammed. You can believe I can I can be scammed from eBay. But anyway, on eBay it's easy. You go and open a case, you have one month to open a case, or you go on uh, PayPal, you have six months, you can open a case and ask for money back. Uh, in the fact, I don't think I will uh, open a case on this case, on this, uh, on this case, yeah? But I did email the, the seller. <clears throat> this is a power supply. What power supply is this? Let me, let me, let me find it on eBay and I'll show you. You know, I, uh, I'm, I'm buying like generic power supply, switching power supplies. Like this one, this one, 5 amps, 42 volts. DIY power supply, power supply. I bought this power supply from um, the other, not from this account. Okay, so let me show you. Uh, display capture. 42 volts, 5 amps power supply. You know, do you see anything wrong with this power supply? Hmm? That's the one from the picture. <laughs> Let me explain you what's wrong with this one. Uh, the first, you know, I should realize that actually it's a scam or the seller, he doesn't know what he's selling. If this is a 5, vol five amps power supply, the fuse has only 2 amps. So that fuse, it's a 2, a two amps fuse. Ah, sorry. Let me power up the microscope. This is a two amps output, output fuse, yeah? So the output, that's the output, you have the diode, even the, the diode, you know, if you have five amps diode, and this is a five amps diode, you cannot output five amps. But anyway, look at the fuse, two amps fuse. This is a scam, so this is supposed to output only like 1.5 amps or 1 amp okay uh, that can happen can happen to anyone but let's let's uh, let's move forward with the power supplies we will be using Frankenstein method to fix a power supply yeah th this is way too dodgy but let's let's learn about this because I'm I, I was using this a lot few years ago, probably like 15, 20 years, with which the, when the uh, color TV comes out, I'm, I was using a lot of this. Let me find something, one second, give me a second. Okay. Let me clean my desk a bit. I was using this a lot. We on that time the power supply was you couldn't find any spares and the power supplies was a combination transistors with thyristors and okay so I was using this method before. Now what do we have to fix? We have a big speaker it's like over one meter speaker That's all. <clears throat> we have to fix this. The problem with this one This is gone. Okay. This is a power supply and also you have the audio amplifier here. Okay? Let's have a look together.
the thing is, I check for the main chip. Well, let's diagnose this first. Very easy, the things are blow up a lot. So check here. Check what's there. Everything. Look at those resistors. So each resistor is gone. You can see this is gone, this is shorted. And most likely the chip is that the chip. You cannot find the chip on the on the UK. 3045, let me check. 3845. I see. But yeah, it is in UK. Three eight four. But I did check a few days ago. Three eight four five. Three eight four five. Hmm. Maybe I should try to fix this. Maybe not. One point fifty. Maybe, but if I already replace this, it's nothing to learn. That's weird because I did check a few days ago. It was not available uh, in UK. So what do we have here? We have a lot of burn things. Yeah. The problem is. If your main MOSFET, which is this one, is burned and those resistors, most likely the chip is gone also. But the problem you have here is some small uh, transistor. Pro transistors, probably MOSFETs, which I don't know. Maybe even uh, that, that's more scary because how you will find them? Probably by the code you can't find them. But that's not the idea, you try to fix something which failed, yeah? So everything is gone on this power supply for some reason, yeah? So let's go a little bit with basics, yeah? Basics, one second. So what do we have here blown up? We have this. Uh, we have this. We have our main MOSFET is gone. Yeah. Uh, this is a channel N MOSFET. Here we have a lot of the resistors. So all those resistors, what you see in there, yeah, are a lot. Low ohms resistors. Yeah, a lot. I think there are like 10, a lot, connected to ground, okay? Here we have the, the, the transformer. And after that we have the high voltage power rail, which is uh, over 300 volts. Let's say 300 volts. And obviously the gate goes to the driver. But also, yeah, keep in mind also, the drivers want to know the current. Because the, the chip is reading the current from these resistors. Now just think, yeah, you have here a problem. The MOSFET goes shorted the transistors blow up. Obviously, here the voltage, on some point, the voltage became 300 and burned the chip. Yeah, that's a fact, that's nothing to question about it, yeah? So, most likely the chip is done. There is supposed to be voltage like millivolts, yeah, not volts. So, obviously, this got shorted and our main voltage arrived here 
burn all the resistors and also the chip. Okay? You can fix it. Probably I can fix it, but I'm always waiting to do a video like this, like just informative. Maybe you don't you don't find the part. Maybe something else. Maybe you have to do this kind of modification or this Frankenstein method. Frankenstein method is actually combining two power supplies. Yeah. You take half from one side, half from the other side, and that's what we are doing. Now the next problem. Why that happen? That's not supposed to happen. Yeah. So according with the thingy, the current goes high. The chip is sensing the. Actually, the current goes high and it's limiting. Uh, it's not switching anymore the transistor. That's how it works. This fail from some reason fail. Was not supposed to act like that, but it just fail. Why? That's the question. Why? The first thing what you have to do is to check the output of this power supply. Yeah? And on our case, the output we have a differential power supply with two double diodes. But the easy way to check the output is on the capacitors. Yeah, you have two big capacitors here. You can see you go on the other side. <coughs> and on the other side you have here one capacitor. Here one capacitor. That's the easy way to check for short. Diode mode, diode mode, here is short, it's not, you can see on the, on the voltmeter, it's not, here is short, it is short, yeah this is the other capacitor, so we have a shorted output, most likely the diode. If you want to be sure, you can come with a power supply. Let's check minus and plus of the capacitor. Minus is here, plus is here. And it's taking like, I set up 4 amps. Right now it's taking 4 amps. And I will tell you what is getting hot is the diode. Okay? So this diode is shorted. This one. A double diode. I ordered a double diode and I bought it, so I will replace it quickly. Let me see where it is. I put it somewhere safe. Yeah, here. <coughs> so let's replace this quickly. And after that, <coughs> we can fix our power supply. Hot air. Some flux. It's just a diode, you know, it's nothing complicated. And after that we can go forward. We can move forward. That's out.
I solder the other one back. So you really expect like the audio amplifier to fail on uh, on audio amplifier, but no, it's just the diode. Let's be sure it's soldered properly. It is. Now next step, let's check for short again. What I believe, I think this, this one is probably like medium or high frequency amplifier and this one is a class D amplifier which is probably for the subwoofer. Anyway. Diode mode, same capacitor, and it's not short anymore. You can see, but the diode, this one is shorted, and I can check it together. It's not shorted here, so it's only one diode is shorted here. So from uh, yeah, this, this diode is shorted, it's a double diode, this is not shorted, okay? Good. Next. Next. You know what it's uh, about? So that's the main transformer there. Also you have a second coil from this transformer. You have uh, the second high voltage coil. No high voltage on the high voltage side, okay. And this one, this one is ground. This one has a diode, and it's a generative voltage for this chip. This is a low voltage one. Yeah, you have also a capacitor here. Um, probably somewhere between like nine volts and twenty volts. Okay, it's a low voltage, but it's on the same side with this one. Okay, and after that we have the output, the output of the transformer, but the output is not our problem, the problem is the input. So what we'll do, we'll switch this power supply with a different one, okay? If you'll think the voltage will be different on the output, you are wrong, because the voltage is controlled by our optocoupler. Okay, on optocoupler you have uh, what do you have? You have the LED, yeah. You have the TL431, yeah. Or can have different name. 431. Okay. And here you have the you this is the transmitter, this is the receiver. And obviously this is going to our chip. It's a simple schematic. So even if you think it will be different, the voltage will be different, it will be not because it's controller but that optocoupler. So optocoupler it will solve our uh, our problem like you know like uh, is something you know you have more wires on the transformer or less wire so we'll use this power supply yeah so half of this power supply we will use it for this now you'll think the power is not enough the power is defined that's the, the circuit of the power transformer, MOSFET, and these resistors. Yeah, those resistors. So I will use the old transformer, so the transformer will be fine. The MOSFET, this MOSFET usually they are handled like 
this kind of current, the output current. I'm not concerned about the, the MOSFET. I'm concerned about the resistor. On this one, I have only one resistor. It's a little bit advanced, this. Uh, yeah, this power supply, you see here a lot of, on the old one, a lot of resistors. Here we have only one. So I have only this one. If the current goes high, the power supply will be shut down. So maybe we will have to adjust these resistors yeah, to lower to lower the value, the 0 0.56 ohms. Maybe we'll have to lower that value. But that's all. Otherwise, we are fine. So let's start. Let's start. by removing the half of this power supply yeah? so uh, let me see yeah so what do we have left we have left this coil let me show you yeah so that's the transformer we have the high voltage high voltage this one and this is a short key diode and we have the low voltage here and the low voltage you can see is coming here it's coming through a diode this is a low voltage one okay this is ground and this is the high voltage one that's easy okay on the other power supply on the the new one we have we have like that high voltage high voltage and here we have low voltage here is ground here is low voltage and it's coming here I believe that it's a diode uh, yeah it's a small diode yeah this one okay and the optocoupler so the idea is quite simple what's going on here Let me find, let me find the, the thingy. Let's take the solder out. It looks dodgy, but actually it's, it's nothing to get worried about. It's, it's something basic. I've done it so many times. You see, now you can find anything to replace, like parts, spares. Well, 15, 20 years ago. Uh, that was tough times. So this modification should be able to be like new, you know, to be like properly, like the factory made it, but the factory failed, because that's, that's how this power supply died. First, the diode, the output diode failed. The second, the protection of the high voltage circuit failed. On, the pa on paper, the switching power supply actually, you know, is okay, they are more uh, safe, more uh, energy efficient. Uh, actually, no. Actually, they are cheap. And that's the reason why everyone is using Not because they are some, you know, magic. 
Anyway, okay, so this is the connection with the other side, and we have one more connection, which is this capacitor and optocoupler, yeah? The capacitor is here to discharge any electrostatic thing, yeah? And the optocoupler to control the, the circuit. That's out, and the capacitor Okay, so now everything is disconnected. Let's try to be the... You know? To be the butcher, you know? Cutting down things. Good. Let's do it. I don't care about the old part, I care about uh, the second part, yeah? Well, I think I need a better tool here. This is quite solid. Problem with the board, this board is very good. Multi layer, a lot of layers there. Let's see with this one. Uh. <sighs> Maybe this is a bad idea. She is a very good board.
Yeah, that's the hard part. That's the hard part. This is a very good board. It's very important to don't get wrong this video. Yeah? This is not something which I'm doing. Yeah. Actually, I didn't do it for like more than 15 years. But it's just a way just to learn how you can fix them at some point which you can't fix them. Don't give this like, oh, look, sorry, and what dodgy jobs are doing. No, this is just for the purpose of this video. Try to give you some freedom. Because the, the most easy thing here is to say, no, I can't fix it. That, that's so easy. It's so easy. It's so easy to say, you know what, I can't fix it. So I can't fix it and... You're good. You're okay. But there are people, they don't accept I can't fix it. They, they don't know nothing about this. Uh, they have time and they do research till they will fix it. Not everyone is like like me. If it's a job is taking time, I will say no. It's not worth.
Ja. Invece di trasformare il fish safe. No, non really. Yeah, it is safe. Ha? Ce? Ia, des. So we are good. Okay? We are fine. It's a little bit of work. So we have the secondary thing and uh, everything is simple. Okay, let's disconnect on this one. The optocoupler. Okay. Okay, this has to stay here. This capacitor and the transformer. No, I said it's easy, but <laughs> you know.
Okay. Okay. The transformer is out. Now it should be more straightforward. <laughs> you see, that's the difference between a cheap board and a good one. You see how they snap? That's insane. You see, that was easy. <laughs> now we have two boards. Let's short this one a bit, a little bit. That's good. So let's see what we have here. Space it's a little bit bigger, but that's fine. We're good, we can short this one, and it is enough space there. So, let's see what's going on here. What do we have here? Keep in mind the beginning of the of the quilts, the sense it's. Probably it's not important, but I came from an age where uh, this thing was important. Before the power supply actually, it was using the signals on the high voltage area from the transformer. And it was very important, the sense of the, the wire. Okay. Good. Come on, should be fun. Yeah, it's funny. It's you modify something. You, you you know, it's you have that feeling. You you are the manufacturer in this moment. Okay. Good. So let me see. This that's plus, okay. So that's plus, which has to go on this side. That's plus plus, okay. The plus can be here also. Oh, this is not used. Even better. So we can short this more. Now it's even more shorter. Good. So the output, the output is here. So here we have a match. The 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 MOSFET, the MOSFET is here. Okay.
You have to pay attention to the ground to not be f uh, too close for uh, your uh, thingy, eh? So what's this? Hmm. That's ground. Ground has to be there. Okay, that's fine. So we'll start with the ground. Was ground or not? Let me check. This one has to go on the minus of the rectifier bridge. Yeah, it's going, that's ground. So let's That's ground. There, okay. I think I will cut this down. That's ground. This is ground, okay. Good. This side is fine, it's nothing touching. So let's connect the wires. This one has to go to the MOSFET, yeah? This one. Let's make those uh, pins safe, yeah? Let's make them safe. Let's bend them, because this is high voltage. Okay. That will come with this here. Good. And the MOSFET thing is here. Yeah? Okay, it's fine. Well, the plus is there. Yeah. 
plus here another capacitor okay so now we have left the ground is connected we have left only that pin yeah that's a low voltage pin Uh, here so here if everything is done we have to connect the optocopter and we are ready it's simple as that where the opto thingy has to be there okay oh, I need two wires Two wires from here here Okay, that's fine. Let's use a little bit of hot glue. Just to make everything a little bit stable. Till we are putting all back together, yeah? Okay. Good. Now the problem with the opto thingy uh, you, you have a polarity there and you have to respect the polarity, you have a plus and minus. That would be a little bit more difficult. Well, let's see. Let's see. So on this one was here, yeah. Okay. Let's check with the ground. Uh, well, which ground? Okay, that's ground. So no one is ground. Which is expected. Which is expected.
This was like that on this side, and this one. Yeah, I should just look on the opto on the opto thing here. It should be the same. Let me check. Yeah, it is the same. That's fine. And we still need something. We need a capacitor. Yeah. From the high voltage to the low voltage for uh, any electrostatic charge to be discharged. Okay. Like this one from here. This one here. We need a wire. To the ground. Yeah. I'm really sorry, I'm a little bit concentrated on this because uh, it's not really a place for mistakes. If you've done a mistake, the MOSFET will blow up and it's gone. I'm just looking to be sure everything will be fine. Yeah? That's fine, that's low voltage, that's fine, that's high voltage. It's time to test, yeah? Let's plug it. Let's so we have this connection here. Let's plug it. Let's see if it's blowing up. It will blow up. Or it will work nicely. We're ready. Let's connect it. It's on. It's on. Let's see if it's working. The output. Volts. Four. 
floorboards. Okay, that's not right. Okay, I get it. Okay, let's see. Let me use the other multimeter place, yeah. That's the opto thingy. There's nothing there. Let's see our voltage, the low voltage from the transformer, which is coming where? Here, and after that I have a diode here, okay? Yeah, and ground. And it's going up and down, so I believe our power supply is limiting. The question is why? And that's the high voltage, yeah? Let me switch on 1000. Uh, it's on 1000. Yeah. Let's see the the that resistor. So the resistor is from here here. And I have nothing on the resistor, so it's Oh yeah, yeah. Or no. Maybe you have a shorted uh, output still. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine, we are fine. Nothing blow up. So let's see. Have the output capacitors minus plus minus plus. Let's check for short on the capacitor with high voltage. Minus plus, and it's not short. Minus plus, and it's not short. What am I doing wrong? Hmm? What am I doing wrong? I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. Let's check one more time just to be sure, yeah? Let's check the coils and everything, yeah? So this is high voltage. It is. So it's supposed to be like that. And it is the high voltage. 
That's the MOSFET, okay. That's the plus. Good. After that we have the low voltage run. That's ground. Plus plus. Plus is coming to the diet. It's making some voltage and blah blah blah. How this power to play is starting? Should have like a cold start. Probably some resistor. Yeah, probably yeah. So it's getting from IC here. A resistor, another resistor here and another resistor here. A diode, sorry, here it's a diode. And from here there it's another diode. So that's the pin which the, the chip is starting. So I have a voltage from here, from the AC, and one from, uh, from the transformer. It's a simple, beautiful power supply. Well, let's see the startup voltage. Two volts is going up. Too high, it's going too high. It's going where? Well. A hundred volts. Okay. This is ten volts. Like it's working now. Nothing. Two volts and here I have nothing. How this is possible? Anyway, one more time. I have 10 volts here. Sure. 10 volts, so my power supply is working or not. 10 volts. On the chip. 10. We have a center diode here. No, it's not center diode. So we have 10 volts. That means the chip is switching. Let me see here. Here we have nothing. So my opto thing is completely open, like like it's shorted. That's mean here I should have max voltage. Yeah. So here I should have max voltage on the opto thing here. Yeah? And I don't have. No, I have nothing. Here I have 1.4. Okay, so here our track is broken. So here I have nothing. I think. Yeah, I have nothing. So we have a broken track there. So there should be a broken track. Let's check for broken tracks. See, this is my fault. Pay more attention. But somehow, here we have a broken track. Somehow. Let me check with the multimeter, yeah? Yeah, 
this is fine this is fine this is fine now we don't have a broken truck we have a different issue this is going cool here wait 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 I'm 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 wrong if here is no voltage I mean, there's no reason for this auto thingy be no voltage there so I should have voltage here so this is coming to a pin yeah what did I told you so even this one it's using ah oh, you can't see sorry it's using signal from the transformer so the transformer this is the low thingy the low voltage you see it's going here onto this diode but also it's coming to a resistor from here to here we have we have a bridge yeah so here to here we have a bridge and from here It's not coming here. One more time. So that's ground, yeah? That's ground. Okay, that's ground. This is coming here, here, and it's coming straight to the chip. Why well, don't have voltage here? You know why? I think the power supply is starting, the current is too high, and the uh, chip is cutting down everything. Let's check this theory, yeah? Minus plus. Let me plug the cable check the voltage here yes and we have 20 and it's going down 20 so okay it's going down yeah that's our issue yeah exactly what I told you in the beginning current is going too high and the power supply is not recovering so one is what uh, one is uh, if it's shorted it's not going it's, go, it's not going back We have some resistors. You have to reset the power supply. Yeah, you have to reset the power. So what's this? This is one ohm. One ohm. One ohm is wait. One ohm is zero point five. And the other we have another 0 0.5, so will be 0 0.2. So we just double the power. Let's just 
for the moment put this the resistor is here to here to ground I think let me say let me just to be sure yeah yeah that's right Good. I heard some clicking. Huh? Okay, let's check now. It's on. Let's see the power. 17 and it's going down. Okay. It is four and it's going down. It is ten volts and it's fine. So what I'm doing wrong? Let's see ground. Let's see this voltage, yeah? Let's follow this. It's high over 20 volts. I think it's too high. Hmm? Originally it has to be this voltage has to be hmm. has to be high because I have a fifty volts capacitor and on this case Let's see what we have here. And here we have we have a capacitor Let's see what chip we have here. Two A, no, it's five five four one B. Five five four one B. Let's see.
Why this got so complicated? Was a simple thing. Two Shekolad of the number two A one seven one seven eight one one eight one one nothing. Can't even find this chip. Huh? Give me a sec, let me check on the other board. You see, here we have some resistors. We have a diode. Okay. It's going here. It's capacitor. And after that, it's going where? Huh? Four five B. Let me check. Give me a second. Three eight five B. So I want to see the old one.
Okay, so the original chip. Yeah. Yeah. But don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. That's you know. What happened here? What was this part? Okay, they see now. Here on the output, why? It's a capacitor, it's a short capacitor. Yes, you see this, 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 this has more issues on the on the secondary. Yeah. Check that capacitor. That's a capacitor there. You can see. So this was shorted also. Can't believe.
Okay, that's fine. Let's see now. I unplug it anyway. One second, give me one second. Okay, one second. Uh, let me check the output. Let me see. Minus plus. Thirty-eight volts. And the other one. Thirty-eight volts. So it's okay. It's working. So one more time with the other multimeter. We are okay, we are fine. I think. You know what? Oh, that's okay. Okay, let's check together. Multimeter. DC. So we have... Check that, 38 volts on the multimeter. And on the other capacitor, because it's a differential one, we have 38, so our supply is working fine. <coughs> what I did, I used a resistor to lower the voltage for this chip. Yeah? But I think that's not a problem. The issue was the shorted capacitor from here. From the other side of the board. Yeah, I use a, a. I think it's unnecessary, but we can test this thing to see exactly what's going on. You see, this resistor is 47 ohms. This one. Okay, and after that, it's. I don't think it's necessary, but we can check the voltage. Yeah, let's check the voltage together. Plug it. So the voltage on ground plus sixteen volts, seventeen volts, sixteen volts on this on this ship on the switch, which is perfect. You know, I have no problem with this, which is fine. Now let's, uh, you know. Benchmark because he has the police power supply has to, has to supply some amps there. Yeah But how can I do it? I need a load I believe these resistors are not necessary So let's Let me let me be sure it's no voltage here It's not like 8 volts that's fine. Let's take down this So these are not necessary. The problem was was the capacitor which was shorter, the ceramic one. So the capacitor died. That's what happened. The capacitor died, and after that, that killed the diode, and the diode killed the power supply. That's that's what the fault happened. So let's check one more time the output voltage. Is yes, forty volts. Here and here. Okay. So we are good. We, we are good. We are. We are. It, this is what what I was expecting, but it's, it took more more time because I was tricked. I was tricked. 
also that capacitor was dead. You know, the ceramic one which I showed you earlier. So this is the Frankenstein method. Now all what we have is to connect to to connect to to the speaker and check the speaker. The way to check this power supply because it has to be benchmark for the output is with some load, but I have no load. What I should connect to the 40 volts? Give me a second. Yeah, sorry. So everything is done. The wires, I stuck the wires with the hot glue, should be fine. Let's see. Let's put all back together, yeah? I do have to replace this thing. It's the wire, but don't worry, I'll do it after, yeah? I will do it after. Let me see. I told you it's enough space. It's nothing touching here, nothing important. It's just empty board. That's fine. We have some clips. We have those transistors, which are not, are, I think are regulate, uh, regulators, you know, low voltage regulators. Oh yeah, all good? Christian? So everything is fine here. Let's connect the, this. Good. We have some screws. We have to put some screws. But not now, yeah? Not now. Not now. And that's all. Here we have a screen on the back. Yeah? Here we have a screen. Let's power up this and see. It's on. It's on and nothing on screen. Okay. Why? 
What am I doing wrong? The connector is plugged in. Okay. Let's check the voltage. Say ground. It's not plugged in, okay. Um, now it's plugged in. And the screen is on. Yeah? So we have to put the speaker and check if it's working. Let me unplug it from here. Let me take the speaker. Yeah, that's the speaker. And we have a connector here. Yeah. Okay. Connector here and one here. That's fine. Let's plug it now. Good. Output input. You can hear? Okay. I was expecting something like that. So we really need another resistor on the... Don't worry. Yeah, we need more current. We need more current. <clears throat> I was expecting this, I told you from the beginning. Uh, we have to modify that uh, resistor from the from the MOSFET. How do I take this out? So okay, this is coming out. It's not plugged in. We have this connector. Okay, it's out. I told you from the beginning. We are low ohms resist, low ohms. Really, really low ohms.
a font of 0 0.22 here hopefully that will be fine 0 0.22 and we have there a 0 0.5 that should increase increase our current I told you I was expecting this. Actually, the current is given us by uh, by those resistors, yeah. We spent like two hours. Wow. Okay, now we are fine. Now we got some amps. Good. All good. Huh? The battery. Yeah, manual has to replace the battery. Manual can replace it. I have so many jobs here.
Okay, and it's off. Let's see why. The voltage is present. So I can't see why it's switching off. It's not because of the power supply. It's because of something else. Well, why? It's nothing to do with the power supply. Nothing to do. Can be some some ground trucks because there's no screws. Coming on and it's going off. Okay, let's check that burn capacitor. Let's see what the voltage is here. Forty volts. Okay, that explain everything. So this is a 14 volts regulator. This one is 3 volts regulator. Three point two. Three point two. This one one point three. Oh, yeah, it's my fault. I haven't connected the thingy and it's getting hot. It's my fault. Yeah, that has to be there. Wow, wow. These are some linear regulators. Linear regulators, yeah. It might, I should put all back together everything and after that it will work fine. So now it's on. Yeah, you can see the how the thing is moving on the screen, you can see. So it's amplifying the signal. But now it's on. It's not switching off anymore. So I think even that resistor I, I collected for nothing. It's just, you know, a circle and a loop of different things. Well, nothing related with my power supply. How can I test that? I don't have this connection. 
to komu i da udje signal. Ok, let's make everything genuine. Because we need... We need this two fingers. Two wires, yeah? We need two wires. But if you think two hours is not so much when you have actually something which you want to fix it but you can't because you don't have spares or are too many burn components okay but even two hours is not so long You know what I mean? I'm sure you know. So now I'll take this out for the last time. And I will finish. For some people, you know, this kind of uh, jobs looks dodgy. Well, we acknowledge the freedoms gone. Yeah. So actually, here is nothing dodgy. It's just electronics. Nothing else. A volt, you have currents, you have uh, it's nothing weird, nothing scary, nothing to say, oh, I don't know what will happen, you know, it's no, it's, 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 it's just simple. That's why it was supposed to be a short video because this is, is, is nothing complicated but you see that capacitor gave me a lot of work. The ceramic capacitor which was shorted. I didn't expect that. I was thinking, you know, you know what, that diode died because it died. It's a diode, it's carrying a lot of amps, and I was thinking the diode just died. But the diode died because of that ceramic capacitor which was shorted. Okay. Now let's cut down this thing, eh?
Perfect. Perfect. This here. This here. Good. This. And I can put the fuses burnt. Yes, the fuse is blown. Let's use a very precise two amps fuse. I call is no, this fuse is not even, uh, it's just for nothing because we have a fuse on the board. But even that fuse has to be rice. I don't know what power this will take. I will check. I will run some tests. I will plug some audio and play some music. And we'll see after. Okay. That's good. That's good. Let's check. Let's do a final test, yeah? I just need a cable. Hmm? Yeah, let me grab a cable because it's different. It's different connection. Yeah. What? Hmm. Okay, let's plug it. And it's on. You can see the blue light there. Hmm? 
So what did I miss? Okay. Okay, thank you. So what did I do wrong here? This connector I plug it wrong Yeah, okay, it's my fault. Because I didn't put the screws, this finger was touching the, the chip. Okay. I will put the screws. I'll put them all back. Think on the screen limit, but that's from um, uh, from amplifiers. It's not from the power supply. Yeah, I can't test this with. I need really I need an audio uh, audio signal. It's working. No. Let me try with ground. No. Hmm. I know what's happened. But it's not from the power supply, it's from the fact I'm trying to let me find some signal here let me see how we can take some signal out Hmm. 
YouTube. Let's do it like that. This one there. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> what do you mean it's no good? Yeah, the problem is my signal. Is it's I don't have that connection. You know the the big one the. What's the name? Okay, we do have some uh, because look, this this is crazy. I don't know if you can see. So actually, with one wire, yeah, one wire. Yeah. So no ground. So that's the issue. So I need I need a connection with ground. So I have the ground here. Yeah, so the speaker is working right now only with the middle wire. And even, I think I can touch it. One second. I think I can touch it and it's still working. Yeah. So you can listen? <laughs> yeah, so I need a proper connection. So when I touch, let's try one more time. Touch. So the speaker is fine, but I really need a connection with ground. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. Wow. Wow. It's mad loud. Okay. Yeah, so it's mad loud. But yeah, on this one you need uh, you need this connection, the the big ones. Because I have the, the hot wire but I need the ground. It's nice, you know what? This this this, this is done. This is done. This is a nice good fix, you know? Okay, so just, you know, just please ignore the fact the video is like over two hours or the level of dodginess. Just keep this information for you because you never know what you will need, okay? You never know. On some point, I have my friend, friend Jason. He bought some expensive uh, laser thingy. Well, very expensive. Uh, take the hair out. And I remember it was the same issue, and the power supply was mad complicated. And I fixed it in the same way.
But anyway, you never know when you need this kind of to do this kind of job. Yeah, so I'll stop now. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you, see you on the next one. Yeah, bye.